Mac Edwards, the Dick Sporting Goods player of the game from Nevada's 2 0 win over Arizona. Mac, congratulations, man. A fantastic outing Thank for you. you. So I understand you found out 10 minutes before the game that you were, in, you were supposed to come in relief. You got, end up getting the start. How did you mentally prepare yourself uh, you know, just on the fly having to know you are going to be the starter? Well, Brad told us before the game that like the starter who's slated to start isn't feeling great, so be ready to go whenever. So I was playing catch kind of with the catchers, like not expecting to start, but I was ready if I had to, and he told me, and then I was just ready to go. So what's the mental uh, preparedness for you then? How do you kind of just quickly say, okay, man, I got I to gotta go out there and get the job done? I was just ready, and then we came out, hit a leadoff bomb by ace, and then I knew I had some run support, and then I just had to do my thing. Yeah, so you end up going uh, eight strikeouts over 62 pitches, one walk, one hit, and four innings. You were only supposed to throw two innings. Did you lobby to go out there for the third and then lobby again to go out for the fourth? He asked if I was feeling good, and I was like, yeah, like I want to go back out. Like, I'd pitch as much as I wanted to, and he let me go out the third and fourth, and then Diego came in and did his thing too. Did it take pressure off of you then? Ace Hansen hits that home run, and you thought, okay, I can just kind of go out there and be me. Yeah, it felt good having a 1-0 start before I even threw a pitch, of course. Everybody kind of talks about the atmosphere here at the PBR Feature Games. You look back there behind home plate. There's all those college scouts back there. How did you deal with that? Did you did you quickly get yourself into that kind of tunnel vision, or did you? how did you deal with the spectacle of it all? Well, we're day three of the tournament now, and like I've been, I've been used to it now. It's kind of settled in that there's going to be people watching, so... It was just kind of normal, normal day pitching. What worked so well for you out there today? I, was, I had a good command of two pitches and my curveball and my fastball, so that was good. And just keeping the hitters off timing and off balance and throwing the curveball wherever I wanted. Talk about the work of the catchers. I know this is a weird environment for them. They have to catch a whole bunch of different pitchers. They have to quickly learn some guys. What was the conversations before you guys go out there, and, and kind of how does that evolve as the game goes on? We were just talking before the game, and I was, like, letting him know, like, the pitches I throw and, like, the counts. Like, me and – um. We, me and Randall, I've learned his name two days ago, but <laughs> we figured out like a game plan kind of on what we wanted to do, so that was good. So you very quickly learn your catcher's name. You yeah. very quickly learn that you're going to have to go out there and be the starting pitcher. You seem to be a guy that operates pretty well under pressure. Yeah, it was good. It was a good win, and just I was ready for it. He told me to be ready, and I was. I feel like I should put you on the spot here and have you, have you give us like you know some some lottery numbers or something because you seem to be a guy that's got everything together. Uh, tell me about this opportunity and just kind of showcasing yourself there for the scouts when you knew you were going to have the chance to go out there. And I mean this this event has produced so many guys that have gone on and made those college commitments. How did you go into the features game knowing you know what this eventually and potentially could mean for you? I knew if I just did my thing and like stayed like true to what I always do that like the right opportunity to present itself. And if I just do get in that opportunity, then like everything else will take care of itself kind of. And then we're just going to see if it worked. You've been ranked as a first baseman. Did you, in your mind, show yourself out there today that you are potentially a two-way guy at the next level? I think I did. And I think Brett right here, he didn't know I pitched. I wasn't supposed to pitch at all, but then two guys went down. So then I got my opportunity to pitch.